In the same way, it would be a grave injustice in the world if the world turned a blind eye whilst innocent Palestinians are being murdered by the hour. More civilians killed in six weeks in Gaza than civilians killed in 20 months in the Russia-Ukraine war. More children killed in Gaza than the annual number of children killed across all conflict zones since 2019. More UN workers killed in Gaza than any comparable period in the UN's history. More journalists killed in Gaza than any conflict period since 1992. Hospitals have been bombed, refugee camps have been bombed, United Nations schools have been bombed, ambulances bombed, bakeries bombed, mosques and churches bombed, Northern Gaza bombed, Gaza City bombed, Han Yunus bombed, the Rafah border bombed, almost every inch of the Gaza Strip bombed. Over 11,000 innocent civilians killed. The hopes and dreams and futures of nearly 5,000 Palestinian children ended in mass graves. 2.3 million people fleeing death and destruction, babies dying in incubators, pregnant women having caesareans without anaesthetic. No fuel to power hospitals, no food to feed the living and searching for clean water being as rare as searching for gold. Make no mistake. This is a humanitarian catastrophe, which is why I urge members to back an immediate ceasefire on all sides and push for the release of hostages. A call which is backed by 120 members of the UN Security Council, backed by 17 UN agencies, backed by the UN General Secretary, backed by the World Health Organization, backed by the World Food Programme, backed by Amnesty International, backed by over 600 leading international NGOs, including Oxfam, Save the Children, Christian Aid, Medical Aid for Palestinians, the International Committee for Refugees, backed by the Pope, backed by the Archbishop of Canterbury, backed by the overwhelming British public and now backed by President Macron of France. Almost every single international aid agency in the, in the entire world is saying a vital humanitarian aid to reach people cannot be delivered without a ceasefire. The very agencies whose expertise we rely upon in other conflicts and take their lead, so why not this time? We need a political solution to an issue which leads to peace not one that ends in a way which is so horrific it emboldens more terror in the region. <coughs> Injustice is the greatest barrier to peace, and the truth is we cannot expect peace unless we enable justice to be delivered. And nothing symbolises our British values better than the statue of Lady Justice towering over the Old Bailey. Figuratively blinded because justice is unbiased, the scales representing the impartiality of decisions, and the sword a symbol of power and justice. But when Israel acts with impunity and attacks hospitals, UN schools and refugee camps, and the case for Palestinians is vetoed by the US at the, and the UK at the International Criminal Court, then the world asks, is our justice really unbiased? When we rightfully condemn extremist and genocidal statements by Hamas but fail to utter a single word about the genocidal rhetoric being spouted by Netanyahu and his right-wing government, then the world asks, are our scales of justice truly impartial? When we follow the path of justice and the rule of law in the face of Putin's aggression, but yet Israel continues to defy UN resolutions with empty words and no action, then the world wonders, where is the sword of justice? When we fail to provide equal application of justice, then in the eyes of the world, it is one rule for the allies of the US and another for the rest. These are not my words, but the words uttered by the former Labour Foreign Secretary, the late Robin Cook, in this very chamber that sadly ring true 20 years on. Our values push us to do better, and this is why, despite all the risks to our personal positions, we must do what is right. Whilst it may be a matter of convention to follow our closest ally, the US, in interests of foreign policy, it is a matter of conscience to step away from our closest ally in the interests of peace. We know that eventually there will be a ceasefire in this current crisis. Every war ends with a cessation of hostilities. The question is not if there will be a ceasefire, but when. For the people of Palestine, every minute, every hour, every day we wait is another orphan. 
another grieving mother and another family wiped out. This is why, in standing to save innocent lives of both Palestinians and Israelis and representing the people of Bradford West, in today's motion, I will be supporting the amendment which, which seeks an immediate ceasefire. Thank you.